Hi. Today we're looking at chapter 5, which is properties of triangles. And the first section we're looking at, 5.1, is on perpendiculars and bisectors. Theorem 5.1 in your books, the perpendicular bisector theorem, says if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a line segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So let's see what that means. I drew segment AB, and then I drew its perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular to it, and bisector because each side here is equal. The theorem says, if a point, as in point D, is on the perpendicular bisector of AB, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of AB. So this would be equal to this. And that is no matter where I draw the point. In other words, I could have drawn the point here, and that would be equidistant from the endpoints. Or I could have drawn the point here, and that would be equidistant from the endpoints. So it's simply the line, the, the point simply has to be on the perpendicular bisector, and then it is equidistant from the endpoints of the line that is bisected. That is theorem 5.1. Theorem 5.2 is the converse. If a point is equal, let's start this over because it looks a little bit confusing. If a point is equidistant from the sides of a segment. So let's do this. And that point we are going to establish is equally distant from the two endpoints A and B. If that point is equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, then it lies on the perpendicular bisector. So this would be the perpendicular bisector, and this point, we'll call that point A, is on the perpendicular bisector because it is equidistant from the two endpoints of the segment AB. All right, so that's the perpendicular bisector and its converse. Now we take a look at the angle bisector theorem and its converse. So over here, we have, I have drawn uh, an angle and its bisector. If a point lies on the angle bisector of an angle, then it is equidistant from the sides of the angle. And those lines must be perpendicular <clears throat> or uh, the theorem doesn't work. Perpendicular, of course, is the shortest distance between two points, and we can't just randomly draw these lines anywhere. Uh, we have to have some basis for drawing them. So those are the perpendiculars, and they are equal in length, congruent, if this point lies on the angle bisector of angle ABC. So point D is on the angle bisector, and therefore it is equidistant from the two sides of the angle. That also works as a converse, and we do have the converse of that theorem, which says this. If you have an angle and a point in the interior of the angle, and it is equidistant from the two sides of the angle, uh, let's make that a little bit better right angle there, Let's try it down this, this way a little bit. All right. Now, although my drawing is probably not perfect, undoubtedly it's not, this, then, this point, if it is equidistant from the two sides of the angle, then it lies on the angle bisector. Sorry about the drawing, but you get the idea, hopefully. All right, so that's theorem 5.3 and 5.4. Um, you have some problems to do, mostly problems where you have to determine if um, a point is on a bisector or um, <clears throat> if a line is, is a bisector based on the given information. All right, next we will look at 5.2, and that will be perpendicular bisectors and angle bisectors of a triangle.